Hey friends, it's Rosie and in this video, I'm going to show you how I make my southern fried cabbage. I uploaded this years ago, but I did revise the recipe. I'm going to start off by chopping up this cabbage and you can either like chop it like I'll be doing. I'm going to leave it kind of chunky, but if you want to shred it a lot thinner, you certainly can. So once we're done chopping up the cabbage, we're going to head over to our sink and we're going to rinse the cabbage under cool water. We want to make sure it is nice and clean. If water isn't enough for you, you can clean it with um, like a water and vinegar solution or salt water. Now I'm going to slice up my red bell pepper. I'm actually just going to dice it and I'm also going to dice up some yellow onion. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to set that to the side and then I'm going to grab my bacon ends. Now I like to use bacon ends for this recipe because bacon ends, you know, is a lot fattier than regular bacon. So the more fat for this recipe, the better because we will be frying the cabbage in the bacon fat. If you can't find bacon ends in your store, ask your butcher or someone that works there. If they don't carry it, just use thick bacon and you might have to add just a little bit more oil. So now we're going to walk over to our stove top. I have this pan over medium to medium heat. And then we are going to start frying the bacon, okay? So I did not like cut the bacon ends in small pieces. I think this works for me. But if you want to cut it in smaller pieces, you certainly can. So now we're just going to fry this bacon until it renders a lot of the fat. And once it is or does and it starts to get nice and golden brown, we will remove the bacon from the pan and just set it to the side. I'm going to place it in a bowl. Now, I am super short. So I did not see that bacon on the side. Yeah, I'm that short. So yeah, let's just act like it's not in there. Now we're going to toss in our onions and our peppers and we're going to fry it until it's nice and translucent. So once it is we can actually start adding in the star of this recipe the cabbage so let's add in the cabbage just fyi all the cabbage will not fit at this point okay so don't think it's going to we're going to add as much cabbage as we possibly can at this point once it starts to shrink down we will add more cabbage into the pan so once all the cabbage is in there and it starts to get nice and tender we can start adding in our seasonings. I have some garlic powder, some onion powder. I'm also going to add a nice amount of salt and ground black pepper. I also like to add some red pepper flakes. Of course, that is optional. And once all of my seasonings are in there, I'm going to mix everything until it's nice and well combined. So we're just going to cook this cabbage until it is nice and tender, but still have a little, you know, crunch to it. And once we are at that point, we can start adding in our bacon. Now, some people actually like uh, their fried cabbage a little on the soggy side. If that's you, just cook it longer than what I cooked it, um, or longer than I cooked it just now. So now all the bacon is in there. Let's give everything a nice stir. Again, you want everything to be nice and well combined. And once it is, we can turn off the heat. And now we are ready to serve our cabbage. So now that the cabbage is done, you can serve it directly out of your pan or you can, you know, place it in a serving dish and let people help themselves. And if you like, this part is completely optional, but if you want, you can sprinkle some parsley flakes on top as well as some red pepper flakes and you are good to go. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Head over to my blog, iheartrecipes.com so that you can print out this recipe as well as many others. And while you're on my blog, be sure to subscribe to my mailing list so that you can start receiving my recipes directly in your inbox.